Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about the fascia of the upper extremity and its tendon sheath. So now the first fascia I'm going to talk about is the uh, superficial fascia. The superficial fascia lies uh, most subcutaneously, it lies underneath the skin and covers the whole body. All right. So the next fascia is proper fascia, which is divided into four uh, fascias. You have the deltoid fascia and the subscapula, supraspinata and infraspinata. All right. So the first one, deltoid fascia, is the fascia that covers the, the deltoid muscle. Um, and anteriorly, I, I hope you understand my picture here, this is the pectoral muscle, and this is the deltoid muscle, and this is the biceps. All right. So anteriorly, the deltoid fascia is going to fuse with the fascia pectoralis. Okay. And posteriorly, on the back side, right, it's going to fuse with the superficial fascia of the back side, of the uh, back. All right. And most distally, it's going to fuse with the uh, brachial fascia, fascia of the arm. So that's a delta fascia, and you have the uh, fascia uh, subscapula. Notice that this is anterior view. This is the scapula, uh, and that there is a fascia covering the muscular subscapula, uh, which is uh, an osteofibrous sheath around it. And the same goes to fascia uh, suprascapula and infrascapula, uh, inf supraspinata and infraspinata. Sorry. All right. So now, if we if we cover the uh, fascia brachialis, uh, if we cut the arm right about here, so we get a cross section. Uh, try to draw it for you guys. So here we have humerus, right? And then right underneath the arm, or um, around the arm, you have a fascia called fascia, fascia brachialis. All right, and fascia brachialis uh, is gonna divide the arm into um, anterior compartment and inferior, uh, posterior compartment uh, with the help of two, um, uh, tendons called septa septa intermusculare lat laterale. Notice that this is the lateral and this is the medial. All right, and this is and this is anterior and this is posterior. All right. So again, on the side it's going to be septa intermusculare mediale. All right. It's called intermusculare because it's a septa between two muscle groups. So, which muscle do we have on the posterior compartment of the arm? Can you guess it? Correct. It's going to be the triceps. <laughs> Real bad drawing here, but triceps. Okay, kind of imagine it. Okay, this is a, that's our posterior compartment. And our posterior compartment is going to be called the um, vagina osteofibrosa extensorum all right vagina osteofibrosa extensorum so vagina means compartment and osteofibrosa when you see osteofibrosa you know that there is a bone inside the or that is a part of the uh, compartment all right an extensorum because that's the muscles that is responsible for extending the arm all right and then anteriorly you're gonna have two compartments all right so which muscle do we have here the most um, the first layer of the muscles of the arm is gonna be the biceps right that is the biceps and then the uh, next layers is going to be musculus brachialis and musculus um, 
Kurakui brachialis. Alright? And the dividing line dividing those two muscles is gonna be called the lamina profunda. Alright, profunda means um, inside. So that's the lamina profunda. Alright? So this this compartment here, which is close to the bone, is called vagina osteofibrosa. Remember osteo because of the bone. And this is the uh, compartment responsible for flexing, so flex, uh, flexorum. All right, and then this compartment right here is gonna be called vagina. And notice there are no bones in that compartment, so this is not osteofibrosa, this is only fibrosa. Vagina, fibrosa, and then uh, musculi bicepsus. All right, so this is the fascia of the arm. So now if we go over to the fascia uh, of the lower arm, so remember we have, um, here we have the fingers and, all right. So that's the shoulder, that's the uh, upper arm, and then we have the lower arm, right? If we go ahead and cut the lower arm here, you're gonna have a cross section as well. So you can start with the radius, right? And then we have the humerus. No, sorry, ulna. <laughs> sorry. All right, so the radius and ulna. And if you remember the anatomy, ulna is gonna be uh, most uh, medially, and uh, the radius is gonna be laterally. And again, we're gonna have the anterior view and uh, posterior here. All right, so do you remember in between the radius and ulna what, uh, what lies between them? It's something called membrana interosea. Inted. All right, so now we can draw the fascia around it. It's gonna look something like this. I hope I get it correct. Yeah, something like this. And this fascia is called fascia antebrachii. All right, fascia antebrachii. And it's gonna be uh, different muscles that that uh, is inside here. But first, let's divide this into compartments again. You have septa intermusculare anterior and septa intermusculare inferior. Let's go ahead and write that. Septa intermusculare anterior and septa intermusculare inferior or posterior. Let's say. All right, so, and then we have another dividing line here, about here, which separates the first and second layer and third and fourth layer of the anterior compartment. That's gonna be um, lamina profunda again. So now we have our, our uh, compartments. Now, let's start with the posterior compartment. So, do you remember what muscles lies most posteriorly? That's gonna be, the first one is, I'm not gonna draw every muscle on the arm here because it all depends on where on the arm you cut, but let's call this supinatio. Our muscular supinatio. And then we have uh, extensorum digitorum here. Muscular six and sorry, um, um, and then we have um, musculus um, extensorum digitinimi, for example, and also extensorum uh, carpi ulnaris here, around right here. 
could be nice. Remember, this drawing is just to give you a, a little idea on how the fascia is uh, is uh, distributed in the arm, so don't take it too literally. Um, so that is our posterior compartment, and that posterior compartment is called vagina. Let's, I didn't mark that vagina. Uh, what's what we call it? If there's a bones in that, uh, that's a part of this compartment. Osteofibrosa. All right, a vagina osteofibrosa, and then posterior. Okay, now we go over to the lateral compartment. The lateral compartment is going to have a big muscle here, brachioradialis, and uh, musculus uh, extensor carpi radialis brachialis, extensor carpi radialis brachialis, and extensor carpi radialis longus. Right? And this compartment, the lateral compartment, it's gonna be called vagina osteofibrosa uh, lateralis. All right, you with me so far? Now we go over to the anterior compartment. The anterior compartment. Uh, let's go. Let's start with that one. Uh, the most um, inner layers that's the third and fourth layer that is in this uh, compartment right here uh, that's yeah we can do like that this is a flexorum polygis longus for example um, flexorum polygis longus all right and we also have musculus flexor dig digitorum profundus all right so that compartment right here is going to be called vagina all right and what do we call this compartment since it has bones and it called osteofibrosa and anterior all right now we have our last compartment right here uh, it's going to consist of the first and second layers of muscles uh, we can draw like that. We have uh, pronato teres, right? And then we have uh, musculus uh, flexorum carpi radialis. And we also have, like that, for example, uh, flexor digitorum superficialis. And we have that. We have flexor um, carpi your lies all right and that compartment right here the most superficial compart compartment is going to be called vagina and this does not have any bones in it so vagina only fibrosa vagina fibrosa and vagina fibrosa antebrachi so that is the facies of the uh, underarm so now if we go over to the muscles uh, or the uh, fascia of the hand now I'm gonna draw if, if you have hold your hand like that and cut it about here we're gonna have um, let's see if I can draw it correctly um, the, I forgot to mention actually that the uh, antebrachial fascia antebrachi uh, goes down to the arm anterior and posteriorly and anteriorly is going to be called um, retinoculum flexorum retinoculum musculorum flexorum all right so uh, if we go over to retinoc uh, retinoculum ex ex retinoculum musculorum extensorum so that's going to be here, that's the extensorum, right? The fascia of the antebrachi goes down to the arm and retinoculum uh, musculorum extensorum. So I'm going to draw it like this, all right? So that's here. And this uh, retinoculum musculorum flexorum, uh, extensorum, sorry, it divides, it gives off six different channels. 
right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the candles it gives, right? I'm just gonna complete the drawings here so you can understand what I'm drawing. Sorry for the bad drawing, it will make more sense later. I promise. We go ahead and do that. And here we have bones, right? We have five fingers and therefore five metacarpal bones. That's gonna be one, two, oops, I broke my three again, three, four, and five. Alright, and it's gonna be and here you have the um, tinaculum musculorum uh, flexorum, which divides of gives of two septa, septa uh, right, uh, septa, septa inter musculare. This is the first metacarpal bone, so this is the thumb, so that's uh, lateral, laterale, and septa intermusculare mediale. Alright, so now let's go back to the retinaculum musculorum extensorum, which divides of six canals. Alright, that's gonna be here. Uh, the first canal, first canal, it's gonna have two muscles, musculus abductor pollegis longus and musculus extensor pollegis brevis. And then the second is gonna have two muscles or muscle tendons, musculus extensorum pollegis, uh, extensorum carpi, sorry, carpi radialis longus and um, musculus extensorum carpi radialis brevis. Then you have the third canal, it's gonna be one uh, muscle tendon, extensor pollicis longus. Okay, and then we have uh, the fourth Canal. It's gonna have two muscles. It's gonna be extensor digitorum and extensor indicus. And then fifth, it's gonna have one muscle, extensorum digiti minimi. And then the sixth, it's gonna be extensorum carpi ulnaris. All right, so that's six uh, six canals we have on our um, external uh, compartment. And that compartment is going to be called vagina fibrosa. It does not have any bones in it, so that's fibrosa. Vagina fibrosa and uh, dorsalis, because it's on the dorsal side, right? So now, the vagina fibrosa dorsalis um, is separated from the bones by lamina profunda. You can call this one lamina profunda uh, dorsalis. All right, so now, uh, in between the metacarpal bones, between here, we have also um, a compartment, and those compartments are called, let's go ahead and uh, draw a line here, those compartments are called uh, vagina, vagina osteofibrosa. because it's in between the metacarpal bones, right? Vagina osteofibrosa. 
and the vagina osteofibrosa is going to have uh, two muscles. Do you remember which muscles is between the metacarpal bones? It's going to be one of them is going to be inter musculus interosseae. Musculus interosseae. Uh, this is the dorsal one, so musculus interosseae dorsalis. And musculus interosseae. Um, palmaris. All right. So and then we ha and then the bones and the other compartments on the palmar side are also separated by uh, by a um, uh, tendon, but now by a lamina. Uh, this one is called lamina. Just write it right here. Lamina profunda again. And this is uh, palmaris. Right? That's going to be this tendon right here. All right? And then here you have three uh, different uh, compartments. If we start with that one, this is called vagina fibrosum. And uh, uh, fibrosa, uh, vagina fibrosa uh, ternalis. And this is the first metacarpal bones, so that's going to be here. And this here is going to have all the muscles uh, that connect or that's responsible for the politis uh, movement. And you have another compartment here, vagina. Fibrosa hypotenalis. Right? Vagina fibrosa tenalis, vagina fibrosa hypotenalis. And vagina fibrosa hypotenalis, fifth carpal bone, that's the little finger. And that's going to be all the muscles responsible for the, flick, for, uh, the movement of the little finger. And then the last compartment is uh, vagina, vagina fibrosa medialis. And vagina fibrosa medialis is gonna have uh, some muscles in it. You have uh, the lumbrical muscle, muscle. Right, and it's also going to have the musculus flexorum or flexor digitorum superficialis. Uh, flexor digitorum superficialis, remember what it does? It um, connects to all four fingers, so it's gonna have four tendons uh, going here. And also flexor digitorum, um, the flexor digitorum uh, profundus. And flexor digitorum profundus is also gonna have uh, four tendon sheet, right? And then it it is, and then we have the muscle uh, flexor pollicis longus, which is gonna lie right about here, actually. Um, and remember, we talked about retinaculum musculorum uh, flexorum. It's gonna it's gonna form what is called the aponeurosis palmaris. Palmaris. Which is uh, to uh, protect all the muscles and, and keep the hand uh, in, in its normal position. Alright, so that was the uh, fascias of 
the uh, upper limbs and I hope this was helpful.